q1 in australia dollar terms the asia equity market is up about seven percent and what we've seen is taiwan really taking the lead taiwan being a very tech heavy market and obviously technology and ai is, is a really hot theme of the moment india as well has been sort of grinding ahead um, and it's a continuation of really strong performance in the india market in 2022 and 2023 but the real story has been China. Um, it's a, been a bipolar market. In January, we just saw what felt like the pinnacle of negative sentiment towards China. You know, economic data was sluggish. And in particular, the PBOC did not cut its five-year loan prime rate, as was hoped, um, on the 22nd of Jan. That led to a huge amount of indiscriminate selling. So the point actually where the HSCI index, which is Hong, uh, Chinese companies listed in Hong Kong, were trading at a price to earnings ratio below the price to book of the US market. It's a bit of an anomaly that we hadn't really seen. However, since late Jan, the Chinese market has rebounded significantly. And, and in fact, in Australia dollar terms, uh, we're up nearly 20% in that same HSCEI index. The market we think has been recognizing that there was just a lot of very cheap opportunities to be had uh, at that moment in time. But actually, more significantly, we're starting to see some what look like green shoots of recovery on the economic front. Economic data in China, if you're looking at industrial production, if you're looking at CPI, you're looking at exports, you're looking at manufacturing PMIs. They've all actually been pointing to some improvement and have beaten expectations. And we think that the market, particularly domestic investors, um, are jumping on that and have been creating a lot of support for the market since then. Yeah, the portfolio is up around 5% in, in Australia dollar terms over the quarter, so it has lagged the market in Q1. In terms of underperformance, there's been some stock-specific factors. HDFC Bank, which is one of our biggest positions, um, faced rising costs on the back of its merger with HDFC, one of its sister companies in the mortgage business. And um, We've also seen some pressure on AIA stock. Their fundamental numbers of AIA are great. Business is growing, but there is very much uh, a case of a lot of foreign ownership of AIA. And if, as I mentioned earlier, there was some concerns around China at the beginning of the year, and that led to a lot of selling of the stock, particularly from international investors. On the flip side, we've seen some really strong returns from our IT exposure. So our off benchmark position in ASML, um, our position in SK Hynix and TSMC all did very well uh, and all generated very significant returns over the quarter. The big question for investors over the next couple of months is whether these green shoots of economic recovery in China um, are going to become more prolonged. So there's a lot of data to be looked at to see if the improvement that we've been seeing will continue. If we see that, then there is a strong opportunity for re-rating of the market um, and, and China to become uh, a bit more favoured than it has been. In terms of China, we have actually been seeing a lot of opportunities in the China consumer space, and we've been incrementally buying in that area. It's an area that's been unloved. It's gone through a lot of problems, uh, just particularly around consumer sentiment being very negative. But there are green shoots of recovery there. We're seeing inventory levels improve, particularly in areas like sportswear. And we're also seeing things like domestic tourism numbers improve, and that's supportive for the likes of Galaxy, which is a new position that we've opened. On the flip side, we are, have been selling IT. IT has been a market darling. Everyone's been liking the AI story, but the stocks have re-rated significantly, and we've seen a lot of strong returns from those stocks. We've got some question marks now of whether those companies can continue those very strong numbers that we've been seeing coming through, particularly because co corporates who have been spending a lot on their infrastructure um, around AI and IT you know, need to really figure out how that beds into their into their own businesses. And so could we be seeing a slowdown in demand for semiconductors in the coming quarters? We've taken some money off the table, recycled that into China. And then finally, we maintain our underweight in India. The market is very expensive. It's almost three or in some cases, four times the valuation of the China market right now. And in Q1, the earnings announcements we saw from the top 200 companies in India actually resulted in 56% of companies missing their earnings expectations. So there could be some short-term cracks in the market. And so therefore we think that the risk reward is actually potentially um, not that much reward for the amount of risk that you'll be taking.